Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito Extra Beef. My name's Darian. My name's Landon. And today, we have kind of a historical episode, uh, as this is the final DCEU review we will ever do. Um, It's over. Thank, Thank God. God. <laughs> Thank God. I couldn't take much more of that. Um... Yeah, we're going to be talking about Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Um, I saw this back in December when it came out. I watched Wonka, and then I watched Aquaman. Um, oh, trouble. Wonka was so good. I can't wait. Hey, three more me, days. Yeah. Sorry, three more days it comes <laughs> out, and I'm hyped. Um, but, um, see, I watched it back then. Landon literally just watched it. Um, it's taken us this long to get caught back up with everything. Yeah, this was on our break. I feel like buying a movie ticket for it, all right? You have to buy a movie ticket for it. No, Wait, you when you're broke that. like me, stuff like, it's just. But you wanted uh, to buy a movie ticket to Madam Web. I, I, I thought about it because I thought it'd be pretty fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, but yeah, we're here. Um, I think the DCEU movies that we've reviewed so far, I mean, we have Black Adam, The Flash, Blue Beetle, The Suicide Squad. That's it. I think. Yeah. It's, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I mean, we've got the bulk of the good stuff. But yeah. We never touched all the bad stuff, which we should probably do one day. I mean, oh, oh, yeah, we just DCEU did. rewatch. Yeah. What, um, what not to do in a DC universe. How, how, not, how not to do a DC universe. Yeah. Sounds sounds about right. Um, but yeah, so we're here with Aquaman and Lost Kingdom. Real quick, little plot synopsis here: Having failed to defeat Aquaman the first time, Black Manta, still driven by the need to avenge his father's death, will stop at nothing to take Aquaman down once and for all. This time, Black Manta is more formidable than ever before, wielding the power of the mythic Black Trident which unleashes an ancient malevolent force. To defeat him, Aquaman will turn to his imprisoned brother Orm, the former king of Atlantis, to forge an unlikely alliance. Together, they must set aside their differences in order to protect their kingdom and save Aquaman's family and the world from irreversible destruction. Um, yeah, about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thoughts going into the movie? Or like, before, yeah. Uh, before well, I really like the first one. And I was told that the second one is better. Uh, from what from what I was well, hearing, I, don't, from I didn't. I, I didn't I, think that. You don't think the first, You think this? You think the first one's better? Yeah. Oh, well, I, well, I, I don't. I don't know. Well, I I don't remember much of the first one. But I do remember that the villain's better in this one. Yeah, villain villain is definitely better. Um, I, I think the first movie is still. I also think the action in this horrible, is but I, I just heard some people say that this this movie was better. I think the action in this is better too. Mm. Action in it is great. Um and the acting they acted pretty well. Um, the acting is good. I hate maybe the this, maybe the movie's better. <laughs> maybe the movie is, it's just be, it's better in every regard. I'd say besides maybe story. I don't think the story is as good as the first one. Yeah. Um. I, oh, that's a hot take. Man. Yeah. I uh. Okay. I guess I don't think. Let me think about how to like break this stuff. I guess we'll like touch on like. Some of the big stuff that happened in the movie. Talk about different characters. Um, obviously, Amber Heard is in the movie. Um, well, they did. They she was in it a lot longer apparently originally before they cut a bunch of her scenes. But apparently, the scenes that they left in the movie are scenes that I guess they couldn't cut, which makes sense because most of them seem, were pretty important scenes. Yeah. Um. So I'm trying to okay. So a whole movie. He's raising his baby. Um, yeah, what's his name? They call him Junior, Arthur Junior, right? Something. Yeah, Arthur Junior. Um, he Arthur Junior is uh, living on land with Boba Fett. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. No, Aquaman's dad, and um, so that's basically where the movie starts off. He's kind of trying to balance being a father with being the king of Atlantis. Um. <laughs> I can't remember necessarily. There wasn't a cameo from like another Justice League member, was there? No. Yeah. Originally, uh, there was Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton were supposed to be in this movie before James Gunn announced. Yeah. How, yeah. I wonder how that would have went. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it probably would have made it worse. Um, 
more, more than likely. But you have Black Mana, obviously, I talked about. He found the Black Trident, which is like got this um, ancient evil force attached to it. And um, when he uses it, it like basically possesses him. Um, it's kind of like. What's another thing that's like that? Because there's. um. Oh my God, what am I thinking of? Oh, Jesus. There's something where like some weapon, like when you hold it, it like possesses you or something. Or like whatever. I don't know. I'm trying to think. There's something it, that has that. Necronomicon? I don't <laughs> no. I don't. I think I, I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember the name. <laughs> Is it from DC? No. Is it? No, it's from Marvel, I think. The symbiote? It's the it's no, it's the um the sword. What's the sword that that guy has? And gore. Oh, the sword. I know what you're talking about. Um, um I don't remember. But that's that sword that he has. It kind of reminds me of that. I know, I know exactly. What, I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it reminds me of that. There's probably other instances as well. But that's basically what happens. Black Manta is like stronger now. He has like the coolest design. It's so comic accurate. It's great. Um, what did you think? I've been hyping up this one scene just because mm-hmm. I, that gave me chills in the theater when I watched it. The scene where he shows up to take the baby and like the uh, Doc Man's dad's in the house. And oh, yeah. Just, like, and it's dark. like he does eyes light up in the kitchen. Like, <laughs> that was so cool. That was like my favorite. Yeah, scene. yeah. It, it, it's it, it's like such a threatening. I, I, I love it. Yeah. Um, they did Aquaman. I mean, Aquaman, Black Manta really well in this movie. Um, there's a big. This is the issue that a lot of people have with the movie, and it's that um, Aquaman as acting different. Mm. Um, how do I, it's like yeah, it's not really it's it's Jason Momoa playing Aquaman but acting like Jason Momoa from Fast X. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, more than Aquaman of the one he's been doing. Yeah, I I, I can see that. I can agree. But he acts a bit different. But they let him go a little too like hard a... with the with like just being himself. Based off, I'm looking yeah. at Rotten Tomatoes right now. I just wanted to see. Um, it's not 34 percent critic, but 81 percent audience. So a decent amount of the audience. Like, like it's not bad. The movie. I mean, the movie's far from being like bad or anything, but like. Got better I reviews. Know. It's got I, I worse don't... reviews than the Marvels. Wow. Really? Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, we like the Marvels, but yeah, I mean, yeah, but like I, the fans, did... it's got better yeah. reviews. Well, better audience reviews than the first Aquaman. I guess most people, a lot of people, did like it more. Um, but yeah, Aquaman. Um, what did you think of his uh his new suit that he gets? I get. I think he only gets. He wears it towards. The uh, end it was okay. I mean, I was. I was. Like, I like the other one better. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, it's not even like a bad design. I just like the other one better. It's just like, you know, yeah, it's just like, like an invisibility. Classic. Yeah. Um, yeah. We get Aquaman's seahorse thing that I think he had like in the old comics. I can't remember its name. Mm-hmm. Storm something. But um, he rides that at one point. You got Orm. Back in the movie, they um save him. From uh, that one place, Night Owl. Night Owl, yes. Night Owl. Um, That's who I know now. I remember during DC fandom, I forget, I completely forgot he played Norm. And I, for a minute, I thought like when they showed him a DC fandom for a minute, I was like, "Holy crap, they're doing Watchmen again!" And he's coming <laughs> Night Owl. And I, <laughs> I got so hyped, and I was like, "Oh yeah, he's the he's the brother from Aquaman." <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're talking um, about the here, I have a plot description here. This will help me. This will help me better remember stuff. I'm going to read it. Four years after becoming king of Atlantis, Arthur Curry has married Mira and had a son, Arthur Jr., while splitting his life between land and sea. Meanwhile, David Kane slash Black Manta continues to seek revenge against Arthur for his father's death, working with the marine biologist Stephen Shin to find Atlantean artifacts. Jimmy Woo. Um, Jimmy Woo. Yeah. Uh, I forgot he was in the first one for like a few scenes. Um, 
This is when Shin accidentally discovers a cavern in Antarctica. Manta finds a black trident that possesses him, its creator, promising to give him the power to destroy Arthur and Atlantis. Um, black Manta is a different kind of hater. He's... <laughs> I, I, dude, this guy is... I mean, it's almost at the point where it's not even a hater. It's just... <laughs> He's just... Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I, don't know what I love that it, line. Man. I love that line he had. Where he was like, um, "What was it about?" Um, the first you steal is your brother's throne, then you steal his woman. Aquaman, shame on you. <laughs> that line that um, Black Manta had. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I know what you mean. I remember that. Oh, shame on you. <laughs> no, I do like that. That's like the, that's he's he's like so threatening, but like kind of funny at the same time. Yeah. Um it says here five months later. By the way, it was a five months later um gap, but our Aquaman's baby was uh, not aged at all. Um Manta breaks into an Orakalcum reserve on Atlantis to steal steal them to power his Atlantean machines that are out of, of ancient origin, but are of unknown design to modern Atlanteans. They are caught midway and chased by Atlantean troopers with Mira injured in the ensuing battle. Arthur learns that this usage of Orakalcum, which emits high quantities of greenhouse gases, has not only raised planetary temperatures and caused extreme weather and ocean acidification, but nearly caused a planetary extinction in the past when used by an ancient Atlantean kingdom. To learn where Manta is hiding, Aquaman breaks his brother Orm out of prison, and they visit a pirate haven called the Sunken Citadel, meeting Kingfish to learn of Manta's whereabouts. I guess underwater kingpin, Kingfish. Um, that's what my fun fact: Kingfish. That's what my grandma called Kingpin when she first watched um, Kingfish. King Devil. Yeah. Um. Anyway. The information they obtain leads them to a volcanic island in the South Pacific where they battle Manta's forces after getting themselves through flora and fauna mutated by the Orocalcum. What did you think? Of, what did you think of um, Orm's run that he did? Yeah, he, he, he was like, never, he'd no, he never ran because he's always lived underwater. Yeah, yeah he doesn't know how to like, run. I mean, which makes because I was at first I was like kind of stupid, like, dude, you don't know this guy don't know how to run. Yeah. And it kind of occurred to me, I was like, hey, he's been like the ocean all of his life, pretty much. So, and he's experiencing, he, or he's experiencing the land for the first time, eating cockroaches and oh, yeah. from burgers. I like how that's the final scene of the DCEU. Yeah, it's peak. Yeah, it is peak. I would have never I, that it died how it lived. It's weird, <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah, yes. Um, okay. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Orm comes into contact with the Black Trident, which shows him visions of its of its provenance. Orm learns the Trident um, was created by Kordax, the brother of King Atlan and ruler of the Lost Kingdom of Necros. Kordax was imprisoned with blood magic following a failed attempt to usurp the throne. Realizing the blood of any of Atlan's descendants could release Kordax, the pair deduce that Manta has kidnapped Arthur Jr., the Atlanteans, with Shin's help, determine that Kordax's prison and lost kingdom of Necris is located in Antarctica. Um, yeah, I thought did, uh, the dad didn't die, right? No. Yeah, uh, makes, I thought it was going to. Like, You're breaking up a little bit. It makes it look like he, he was. Like, oh, excuse me. Yeah, it makes it look like he's going to, but he does. Yeah. Um, I thought he was going to, based off like movies. So I, well, I thought the baby was going to. Um, oh yeah, everyone thought that it was all like, all right, rip his baby. But I guess, you can't, kill a, I guess you can't kill a child and not movie, yet, you like, can't. A, like a baby. No, you mean not yet. Not, not, not yet. You can't. Oh lord. Okay. I guess if we ever, if you ever get the director's kit chair, you could be the first. No, I wasn't planning on. Oh, in okay. Necris, Arthur fights Manta. <laughs> That's and your wife. Almost... Killing children off screen. <laughs> yeah. oh, in Necris, Arthur fights Manta and is almost killed before Mira arrives and saves him. Manta throws the black trident at Mira, but Orm catches it before it strikes her. The spirit of Kordax it leaves Manta for Orm, who proceeds to fight Arthur and uses Arthur's blood to free Kordax. Arthur, which that fight was pretty interesting. Um, oh, yeah. so there's always there's that like tension between them throughout the whole movie, and then you finally get them fighting at the end. Um, him and his brother. Let me see. Um, Arthur convinces his brother to give up his hatred for him, allowing him to destroy both Kordax and the black trident. With Kordax's magic vanishing, Necris starts to collapse. 
Manta refuses Arthur's help and allows himself to fall into a fissure. And he's probably dead, but we'll never know. We'll never know. We'll find we'll find out in the next. Oh. Yeah. Um, we'll find out in Batman v Aquaman. No. Yep. Um, they plan to inform Atlantis that Orm died on the condition that he remains hidden, vacating to the surface world. Believing the unification of the underwater kingdoms and the surface world is necessary to prevent further damage to the oceans and planet, Arthur reveals Atlantis' existence through an announcement at the United Nations and declares his intentions of making the kingdom a member state. Um, and his final scene in the movie is him going, I'm Aquaman, or like, I'm the king of Atlantis, I'm Aquaman, and he dropped, mic drop. Um, which everyone was like making fun of that being the final, like, official final scene. <laughs> but, but like, I, I, didn't, I mean, I just thought it was just like, okay. <laughs> I was like, cool. <laughs> I, <didn't get> <laughs> I don't know. Um, in the post credit scene of Orm eating a burger, and he finds a roach and he puts it on the burger and he eats it. He smiles and that was it. That's the real. That's the real last thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I think what what a fantastic way to go out. Yes, mate. Honestly, at this point. <laughs> That's what the DCEU tasted like, probably. I mean, the, a burger with a roach in it. Yeah. Um, so they cut a couple characters out of this movie. Um, or specifically one. Um, Willem Dafoe. I know. I don't know why. Um, I think they said why. Let me look. Why was Willem... He, he, was, was he in it, like, originally, but he just got cut, or...? Um... He was absent due to scheduling conflicts with multiple other projects. His character's oh, off-screen yeah. death came from an Atlantean plague caused by widespread human pollution. All right. Well. I like to believe um, that's what it is. But, uh, yeah. That was that. Um, Overall, I thought, I thought the story was okay, like you said. I thought it was Okay, yeah, to good. Bad, bro, uh, uh, like yeah. in the range of okay to good, like the story. Yeah. No, um, nothing to really write home about. I thought the action was fantastic. I enjoyed watching all that. Right, that that's char- really what stole the show. Yeah, I thought the characters were really fun. The acting was really fun. Um, Black Manta was a great villain. Probably one of the best villains in the DC. Uh, if not the best, I mean, what's better? <laughs> Um, you know what I'm you can't even count the Justice Society. They're not. I mean, they're technically the antagonists of the Black Adam. But I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess if we want to be technical, I mean, nothing beats them. But Starro, like, just just about. Oh, true. <laughs> but even Star, even Starro doesn't like. I mean, Starro's cool. Like it's great, but oh. like maybe they're tied. I don't know. Um, Starro and um, <laughs> Black Manta is tied. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed those aspects of it. Um, I'm just happy that it's over, and now we're full steam ahead to Superman. Or Creature oh, yeah. Commandos in Superman. The cre- I'm hyped for Creature Commandos. There were like three awesome. interviews that came out today with Sean, uh, James Gunn's brother, oh, and Alan Tudyk talking about Creature Commandos, so they're starting to talk about Oh, really? About yeah, Ooh, that's, that's gonna be good. I'm I'm hyped for that. I wonder when we'll get a trailer. It's because it's done. From what I read, it's like it's done, or they're finishing up animation. One of the two. But um, yeah. The, originally, though, Aquaman two. What this was going to be the third movie in an Aquaman, um, the Aquaman world, because um, in early 2019, WB hired. Noah Gardner and Aiden Fitzgerald to write the script for a horror tinged Aquaman spinoff titled The Trench, which was that which then got turned into a Black Manta movie, which then got scrapped. Oh. And um and since July in 2019, um let's see, Patrick Wilson said he had discussed plans for the sequel with Juan indicating he'd be repre- Okay, this is just other stuff. Um but yeah, a movie went through a decent amount of reshoots, um, courtesy of James Gunn, um, to just ch- change the ending and get rid of courtesy. The, yeah, to get Very rid of the, the Batman stuff in it. Because apparently this movie would have set up the next whatever is next for the DCEU. But obviously James Gunn came in and they changed the ending and did a bunch of stuff. Yeah, he said he said that's not happening. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good one. <laughs> no, that's, that's what he said. He came in and he's like, oh, good one. 
<laughs> We're not doing that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that I mean the movie, like I said, um story was probably the low point, but I mean I really enjoyed everything else. Who's your favorite yeah, character? I didn't think in the movie? It, it, it it was a um... I don't want to say like a surprise or nothing because, you know, I, I expected it to be good just do because I like the first one a lot. But, um, I don't know. I, I like it. It's fun. It's a fun movie. Yeah. Movie. Um, and, you know, I think, I think the way the DCU was like how it was, I think it's a pretty decent way to go out. Yeah. Um, and there was at one point a while back we were saying that this movie was going to suck. And that it would um, make the DCEU end with a whimper. Yeah. Um, because of the test yeah. screenings, the supposed was. test screenings where people walked out. Oh, yeah. I remember that. I really, I wonder what happened to those test screens. <laughs> like, I don't know. What kind of I, movie was that? That was the, the, I, I like the, the pre I, James I like Gunn. That was the pre James Gunn. Yeah, yeah, that was the pre James Gunn. <laughs> we got the gun cut. Yeah. <laughs> it's the battle. Um, oh, yeah. But yeah, so that is pretty much it. I mean, do you have any final thoughts? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it was it was fun, you know, watching this again, uh, or watching it first time. I mean, but um, again, I feel like the the DC universe could have ended way worse, and I think. Snyder fans that are like saying this movie is an abomination are completely wrong <laughs> because yeah. if if the, if the DCU ended off with Batman versus Superman, I would have been saying a different story. <laughs> yeah, that would have Jesus Christ. Um, say that again. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, so I guess we go ahead and get into the rating. And <laughs> here, I'll do something fun after this too. All right, so let's rate Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom out of 10. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to give it a 7. Um, I mean, honestly, are you guys too low? Because, I mean, like, all for real, um, Black Manta really carries the movie. Yeah. Um, I have to ask but myself, do I have any desire to see it again? Um. I'd, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd have a desire to see Black Manta again. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah exactly. I have a desire to see Black Manta again rather than the movie again. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'd probably give it a seven. Okay. I feel like that's, I feel like that's accurate. Um, yeah, okay. And now for, the, now for this part. Out of ten. What would you rate the entire DCE? Oh my god! Um, so what, what 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 movies we got here? We got okay. Wait wait wait. Let me look it up. Let me get the order. Let me like get the whole list. I want to make sure. I want to make sure I ain't missing something. Okay, hang on. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, Justice League, Aquaman, Shazam, Birds of Prey, Wonder Woman, nineteen eighty four, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Black Adam, Shazam two. Forgot about that. The Flash, Blue Beetle, and Aquaman, too. Okay, yeah, you, you got some pretty, you got some um, stinkers in there, but you got some like really good stuff, like Blue Beetle. Um, I almost said Zack Snyder's Justice League. Excuse me. Oh, go go. Um, then you got Josh Whedon's Justice League. Are we going to include that or no? All right, here we're going to go on a scale from um, good to mid, right? And this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to name the movie and you say good or mid. And that decides like no or yes kind of like thing. Like good or not good. good. All right. Cool. I'll like this. All right. Man of Steel. Uh, Good. Batman v Superman. Ultimate or theatrical? This, this just says normal, but you can say like give it one for Well, each. I, I'm going to say what's in theaters. Um, Mid. mid. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Suicide Squad, 2016. Bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, it's my, it's probably a hot take, but bad. I don't like that movie. Okay. Justice League, 2017. Bad. Aquaman. Good. Shazam. Good. Birds of Prey. 
bad. <laughs> Wonder Woman of 1984. Uh, bad. Zack <laughs> Snyder's Justice League. Bad. The Suicide Squad. Great. Um, it's not even a good. It's a great. Okay. Black Adam. Um, can I have an okay? Because <laughs> that's where it's at. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it okay for that. <laughs> it's Shazam, an okay. Shazam, Fury of the Gods. Mid. Okay, The Flash. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know where to put that one. Uh, I'm gonna say mid. Okay, Blue Beetle. Good. And Aquaman. Uh, I'll go into um, yeah, good. Okay. Um, there are seven bad ones and eight good ones. Ah. So it's about half and half. So. Oh, and plus, and plus, uh, and and plus, Black Adam. So it's about half. So I would rate the DCEU a five. <laughs> A five? Yeah, so mid. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, a four because they killed Superman in the second appearance. <laughs> No, actually, no, hold on, no, no, no. Actually, they a three did do that, because didn't they? Zack Snyder's Justice League was too long. No, a, a, a two, Well, I mean, I don't want to play the movies a too two long, because but... Zack Snyder sucks. And a, actually, no, a one because his fan base also sucks. <laughs> so it's a one. <laughs> can, I, can I just, like, say something real quick? A two I guess. because Zack Snyder said Batman could get raped in his movies. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's God. why that's why I'm gonna give it a two. Is that what he said? Yeah. Yeah, He said that so could two. happen in his movies. <laughs> that's Yes. a, that's what that's why I'm gonna give this. That's fair. Okay. And with that, we cap off the DCEU reviews, even though we have others that we haven't reviewed before, which we'll probably do eventually. Um, yeah, we are officially caught up with everything that was on our Christmas break. Um... Next thing we have to review is is there anything coming up? No. Um it's either I know Gen V is something we have to do before June. Um I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh but with that I guess we'll go ahead and get ready to get out of here. Um, all right, so thank you all so much for joining us for this episode. Let us know what you thought of Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Did you like it? Did you not? What did you think of the entire DCEU? Was it mid? Um, it was. Spoiler alert. Um, It was. didn't mean to predict the future <laughs> don't, on don't, it. don't, don't, don't lie to yourself, Snyder Bros. It, it, it was bad. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I guess with that, we move forward into bigger and way better things. Um, Understatement. <laughs> Still, yeah, you know, because yeah, it's just not. Oh man, I can't wait. yeah. Um, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.